Hi everyone, I'm Stanley Joseph with UTD TV and today we are here at the UTD, UT Dallas Career Expo 2013 and let me just tell you the energy here is insane. Resumes are being handed out left and right and dreams are being made and broken at this very second. We're going to figure out what it takes to land your dream job coming out of college today. Let's go check it out. Hi guys, I'm here with Pre Preeti at the UT Dallas Career Fair. And Preeti, how excited are you right now? I'm very excited because I think this is a great opportunity for students to look for internships and full-time opportunities. What does it take to be awesome at a career fair? <laughs> um, first thing first is you have to be prepared. Not only do you have to have your resume, you have to have something important on your resume. UT Dallas Career Fair is serious business. We've got over 80, 80 I think maybe like 100 companies here. All trying to get, all trying to recruit the best North Texas has to offer. I'm here with Rebecca, and we found something very interesting. We learned that you're an SMU person. Yes, uh, actually, uh, I transferred from UT Dallas uh, to SMU uh, for the fall semester. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I hope you don't hate me. <laughs> oh, we don't hate you, but you, you gotta admit. What do you like better, SMU or UTD? Um, of course, UT Dallas. Yes! What kind of jobs do accounting majors expect here? Um, actually, I'm going to graduate next May, so I'm looking for uh, entry-level accounting positions. Uh, for example, a corporate accountant or uh, in a public accounting firm. Yeah. Now, you're probably very ambitious, so I'm assuming you're hoping to shoot up the corporate ladder? Uh, yeah. yeah. Can I say whoosh up the corporate ladder? Now, I'm not saying that SMU doesn't have the best to offer. I'm not saying UNT doesn't have the best to offer, but these employers chose UTD, and UTD is the best in North Texas, and that's why they're here today. We are here at one of the biggest booths at the Career Expo 2013, AT&T, an awesome Texas company, and they have this very cool device. I'm not sure what it is. Becky, can you tell us a little more about it? It is our iPad stand. It's actually holding an iPad there on top. And what we're doing is we're actually taking a lot of the students' contact information so we can send them additional information about our different leadership development programs that we have based on the position that we select in the iPad. Cutting edge. And what are these little things? They are I iPhone or cellular devices uh, type stands okay. that you will be able to put on the back of your device where it actually holds it so you can watch movies from it, listen to music, see who is calling you at, at a certain time. So they're, they're great little items to have when it comes to your sitting at your desk. So you can get more than just a career here today, right? Absolutely. <laughs> what is the best thing to have on your resume for AT&T? Definitely do internships, especially coming at the freshman and sophomore. Don't be afraid to really look for those opportunities from different companies. Did you get one of your first jobs for a career fair? Actually, yes. Um, I had to complete an internship to actually complete my degree when I went through school. Um, went to a career fair, found an opportunity based in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, took that internship and then was offered a full-time position after I completed that. All right. So I guess I guess you, you, you've kind of gone full circle now trying to help other, other students just the way you got your first job, right? Absolutely, yes. We are here with Kurt, the awesome Kurt, I might add. And we are at the legendary Park Place. If you have lived in North Texas, you have certainly heard about this company before. And let me just tell you, my dad, he's bought at least four cars from you guys, a lot of Benzes, and he's working on getting a Porsche. Do you have any discounts for students working with you? If they work with us, absolutely, we got discounts. Mm -hmm. They might wake up in a brand new Bugatti one day. I don't know about a Bugatti. <laughs> if they work real hard, maybe. What if a student, you know, comes back from a career fair discouraged, he doesn't land the job he directly wants, you know, what would you say to him? How would, what advice would you give him? To not get discouraged. It's a, it's a numbers game and it's meeting people, it's finding the right opportunity for you and just to keep plugging away and make as many personal contacts, be on LinkedIn, make visits to the Career Service Center because the Career Service Center here does a great job knowing important key people in companies that can get them interviews. So just make all the networking that you can because they've got a great network here. You just got to get yourself into it and meet the people at the companies that you want to work at. Do you know what a whoosh is? A whoosh? It's a UTD tradition. Haven't you heard okay. of it? I don't know. Can I teach you the whoosh? You can teach me the whoosh. All right. UTD whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. UTD whoosh. All right, guys, we've seen some amazing young students and some absolutely great employers looking for the best and the brightest in North Texas to start their careers. If you haven't been to a career fair, go to one now. This is the time to develop your skills and really break into doing the thing you've always wanted. 
UTD is here to make sure that you be the best that you can be and connect you to the employers you want to have. Now, if you didn't manage to make it out to the Career Expo, don't worry, there's still hope for your future. For students looking to go to graduate school, the Grad School Expo is happening this Thursday, October 17th at the UT Dallas Visitor Center. And if you're about to graduate and you don't know where you're going to work, the Just-In-Time Career Expo is just for you. More details about the event as it approaches this December. This is Stanley Joseph for UTD-TV.